Last came from your husband, Josh Kelly. Wow. You guys have been married 15 years. He said the show made him cry like a baby. Is it that did, true? But he he cries a lot. So, <laughs> so my, I'm yeah. having an issue with my dog right now. So we can oh, we can discuss. Um, going on all day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your mom is also your producing partner. Yes, she is. I mean, how has it been? You know, working. <laughs> Catherine, thanks so much. Thank That's you. great. Thank yeah, you. thank you for sharing so much too. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah. You can catch the first part of Firefly Lane, season two, streaming on Netflix December 2nd, and the final batch of episodes drops. Next year. I feel like we should let you in your newscaster voice read the Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Go for it. So how much time do we have to ship things, you know, whether you're using USPS or, you know, private companies? Yeah, the earlier the better, of course. Let's put the shipping dates on so people can see. But when it comes to USPS, they're saying December 17th for guaranteed delivery by Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, for FedEx, it's December 14th if you want to pay the lowest shipping okay. price possible. Of course, you can do two-day. You can even do overnight. Under December 14th, major retailers will be participating and saying, hey, if you buy on this day, you might have to have like a minimum spend, but you get free shipping membership discounts. So if you're a member of the AARP. How cold it could get, how much snow we could see. There's a lot going on with this thing. I mean, we're talking about blizzard conditions and tornadoes for different areas, depending on where you are. Now, we do have some cold air in the Northeast, so you think that this would set the stage for a major snowstorm for the Northeast. However, while this could start as snow by the end of the week, I think it's good news uh, as far as travel is concerned. However, we do have very dangerous travel expected on the northern side of this system through the Dakotas, where not only 60 miles per hour, that that's going to reduce visibility, and because of that, we have blizzard warnings. The areas in purple is where we'll see the worst of the conditions. So, again, most of the cold air is on the northern side of this storm system. It's going to snow all day long across the high plains, also through the Midwest, as we look into or, uh, the northern, mid, upper Midwest, through Minneapolis, into parts of Wisconsin. We will see some snow take hold as we go into tomorrow. But here you see where the warmer air is. We are looking for mostly rain across the mid-Atlantic. The interior northeast will likely see some snow snow by the time we get to Thursday night and Friday. And even if we do see a little bit of snow in New York, it will change over to rain. So snowfall totals, again, about two feet of snow still possible through North and South Dakota in those areas where, it's all, where it will snow all day long. And in the Northeast, we're looking at about six to maybe of this storm system. You know, it's unusual to get a lot of tornado warnings in the morning, but we do have tornado warnings popping up across uh, parts of the South and also the bigger tornado watch that's in effect as this line of storms moves eastward. So we are going to see a chance of those tornadoes, also the strong gusty winds up to 70 miles per hour, and even hail is possible as well. In this area in red here, that's our best chance of seeing strong tornadoes this morning and then uh, redeveloping later on this afternoon. We also have the potential for flooding with rainfall rates of about an inch per hour. On Wednesday, it's kind of the same general area along the Gulf Coast that has the best chance of those severe storms. And then on Thursday, it is going to shift over into the Carolinas and down across northern Florida too.